Can you see the difference? You can still see like redness over here and it's better on the left. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to apologize for not making more videos in the past. That's because a lot of things happen. I am taking my master's degree in education at the moment, so that takes a lot of work. And at the same time, my father is having a larynx cancer, so we need to go back and forth to the hospital and a lot of treatment and stuff like that. So there is just not enough time for me to do this video. However, today I am going to make a video about the makeup that, that I just purchased. So I went to Malaysia recently and I saw in the pavilion in the middle of the big atrium, there was like this Coco Mademoiselle event that is quite big. So I went there and I decided to get this. So this is the makeup, is the Le Beige. So this is the Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion. So before, there is the just the Water Fresh, and this is the a newer version, I think, the Water Fresh Complexion Touch in B20. So this is just natural light, so it's very bright. And let me show you. It costs... Um, it costs for 280 ringgit so it's almost a million in rupiah and if you purchase cosmetics in malaysia i, th I believe nowadays um, if you purchase in in store and in duty free in the airport it will cost you the same so you don't have to do a tax refund and whatever anymore because they will cost you the same anyway with that purchase, I got three freebies here, three freebies. So the first one was um, Leblanc La Base. So this is like a base, a base um, for your face before you put on your, before you put on your makeup. And this one is sublimate. I think exfoliating serum not sure exfoliating exfoliating lotion there and I got another freebies the Coco Madumoisel perfume this one so I want to try this on with you today so this is in the shade B20 this is what it looked like there I'm intrigued with this um, with how they do this it's like it's un unusual so I want to try it on and it come with this little brush so you can blend it properly oh, cute. how cute is this so you get this one this is actually only 20 ml, I believe. Yep, around 20 milliliter. And how to apply it? You have to put it around here in your hand. Yep, like that. It's quite runny, it's not very thick, but not too runny and they say you have to mix it and blend it well with the brush like that do you see that and then apply it i will apply half of my face as usual I haven't put anything on my face so it's a bit red I have redness in my face my natural face and this is just natural um, lighting from my window so you can completely see see that I have um I think that's pimple mark over here let's see to cover it up 
they say um, this is medium coverage medium coverage oh, it's just too bad that the brush is very small it's good for point um, places like this small places but it would be nicer if it's a bigger brush and half of my forehead I applied this without um, putting on the basic or the um, primer or anything so I wanna I want you to see how it is on like a naked face a naked skin just um, so this I did this um, two pump just now I did two two pumps and it covered half of my face what do you think can you see the difference you can still see like redness over here and it's better on the left you see the difference? I think we need more product I think two um, pump is not enough to get a full coverage on this because this is more of a sheer but look I'll be standing behind a little bit so it's not too bright and you see half of my face is covered and half of the face still red see that you can tell the difference but this is already with the coverage and this is not yet now I'm going to do the other half of my face see you can still see spots and redness and I'm gonna use two more pumps in here. So this this two pumps and just use the brush to mix it and then apply it. And you see that you can see right away that the redness. Is covered I'm doing the forehead now very easy to apply it's very smooth and it um, it doesn't build up in one of the spot that is very difficult to blend I think it's uh, really easy to blend as you can see I think you can use this as just a concealer in some spot if you want to you don't have to do like the whole face kind of thing but if you want um, more of a coverage you can do it like I do like the whole face kind of thing but if you want to make it as a concealer you can just dab it around the nose here or just under the eyes you can do that so this is after I do both
What do you think about the color? Does it suit me? I like how it look um, very fresh at the end. I can see my redness is like disappearing even though I'm sure it's not 100% because this is not like a full um, studio coverage type of thing. This is more of a like a daily makeup. So there you go. I don't see any more difference between the left and the right eye, uh, face. So hmm, this is it. I still can see spots on my face because like I said, this is not like a full coverage like you go on a wedding or you go on a big event kind of thing. You don't use this kind of foundation because this is more of a daily wear. It's so meant to be light. Okay, let me set it for a while. It doesn't feel heavy on my face. Um, However, I still can feel it a little bit sticky around my nose here. Not too bad, but maybe I need to set it for a while and see how it goes. This is the look after a few minutes. And what I think about it is I think um, if you're using this foundation, you need... Um, you need to put on more of a loose powder afterwards otherwise it's still a little sticky in the face I mean it would have been better if I put more of a loose powder after this but this is how it looks so far without anything so just um, this foundation itself but um, what I like about this is that it's very easy to use, it's very easy to blend, so when you put it on your um, hand, it's easy glide and easy. You can just do it with your hands um, and do it like I usually, I usually do my makeup, but because it comes with this little brush, I want to try it on. And this is really easy to blend also with this brush, however, I feel that the brush is very small. I mean, you can use your bigger brush to cover your um, face easier but so far I like this um, this is easy for everyday use and stuff um, and and I don't smell any fragrance so this is I, I believe uh, I believe this is fragrance free so I don't smell any perfume and stuff there's nothing it's just um, no smell and I like the the way it gives like gloss not glossy it's glowy like dewy complexion thing even though it is not 100% covering up the spots that I have so if you're looking for um, a foundation for just everyday use and or if you're looking for just a concealer around the um, area you you can get this I think this is really worth it especially you can get this small brush and if you get it during the event like I did you can get like three freebies um, and that's about it I think if you like this kind of content if you want me to try on more of the beauty products and stuff you can leave a comment or if you want me to review more bags um, I'll try to make I'll try to make videos um, if I can I won't make promises but I will try my best thank you so much guys for watching I'll see you bye